Justine Brown here with former USC left tackle Matt Khalil, who is also a top prospect in this year's draft. Matt, you've kind of been a top five prospect throughout the whole process, and you did great at the combine. You kind of solidified that with the sub 540 and just doing yeah. really well. What were the nerves going in with such high expectation? I was definitely, uh, you know, I was feeling a lot of pressure going in there, but uh, no, I was confident in my ability and what I can do. So. Uh, uh, the competitor I am, you know, I, I want to go out there and show what I can do, and uh, I did well. I, I, I have no regrets looking back, and I think that's, you know, that's why I didn't do anything over here. I did so well in the combine. Uh, I was just focused on doing offensive line drills and uh, you know, showing the coaches what I can do athletically. And how did you really prepare, not only physically but mentally, to secure that standing? Um, you know, it definitely helped have my brother, um, who's been through that whole process, and uh, going in all the interviews and you know everything the coaches were asking. I definitely wasn't blindsided by it because um, my brother's been through it and told me kind of everything what to expect. But uh, still, it's kind of eye-opening going in there because you really don't know what to expect to actually go through it, which is pretty interesting. But uh, you know, I, I thought I did really well. I kind of showed the coaches what kind of person I am off the field, which is really important to them because um, you know. They, they made it very clear to me, you know, their locker room and the players they draft is, you know, one of the most important things for them. And, uh, you know, I got good vibes from a lot of teams. And, uh, you know, just looking forward now is just working out and proving any little thing I can. And uh, I think that's going to be a process up now and up to the draft. What kind of questions do they ask? Uh, you know, just, just about my family, um, you know, my history with football. Uh, I think they basically want to find out, you know, your love for the game, you know, which I love this game. That's, that's why I'm playing it. But, uh um, no, just trying to find out what kind of person you are, um, how intelligent you are, um, kind of going through uh, plays that you used to run in college and, you know, kind of seeing how knowledgeable you are of the game and uh, seeing how much you've paid. I mean, there's a lot of things, but, you know, seeing how much you pay attention to things, um, like some coaches would ask questions in the beginning and kind of give you a coaching point. And uh, when the 15 minutes later when the meeting was over, they kind of ask you to reflect on what they said and, you know, kind of see if you remember. And um, I, I think that, that that was what a lot of teams did. And uh, no, I, I did well in it. So I was pretty confident going out of those meetings. Was any every interview a little different? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of the same, but with different variations. Um, I think coaches ask certain questions, you know, depending on what team you go in. But, uh, you know, for the most part, um, kind of repetitive, a lot of the same questions. I know the Rams and the Vikings are obviously two teams being tossed around a lot. Did you meet with pretty much everybody? Yeah, I met I met with pretty much every team. So, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting coming to the draft, but uh, not really focus on who's going to draft me, just focus on how, you know, how I can prove as a player, and uh, that's all I can do. How surreal is it being talked about as a top three prospect in the NFL draft? Uh, you know, it's cool. You know, it's it's kind of hard not to focus on that thing uh, when you hear it all the time. But, uh, you know, it, I try to just stay humble, you know, just kind of improve as a player. And, uh, you know, come draft day, you know, anything can happen. So I'm looking forward to it. This is kind of your last hurrah in your old stomping grounds. How did USC prepare you for the NFL? Uh, definitely, you know, the players they recruit, um, you know, going against the top players every day. I mean, Nick Perry is going to be a first rounder, so going against him every day definitely made me, uh, you know, part of the player I am. And, uh, you know, it, it's definitely been an experience. Uh, you know, they bring the best coaching staffs and, you know, the best facilities. And, you know, it's, it's definitely been an experience. And, uh, you know, I'll never forget it. It's just kind of cool coming back here and seeing my buddies uh, in pro day. Your, your quarterback, Matt Barkley, who you protected very well last year, he decided to come back. Good decision for him? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, he's probably going to win the Heisman, like I said. He's going to win the National. He's going to do everything he wanted to do coming back here, and uh, you know, he's going to do great things. He's going to be probably number one pick next year. So I mean, it's it's definitely a choice. You know, he made what's the best interest, best interest of, uh, for him, and uh, I wish nothing but good things for him. You know, he's he's going to do well. Now, if you are watching them in the national championship that next year, will that be a little hard to watch? No, definitely. It's it's going to be fun. I'll be rooting for those guys. Um, but, you know, the decision I made, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure I was 100% certain with what I wanted to do, and, uh, you know, I'm going to have no regrets looking back. I'm Justine Brown signing off from Cromwell Field, where 2012 USC Pro Day has just wrapped up. Log on to uscfootball.com for more information.